DNA. I'm Alexis. And I'm Deshaun. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Why you just sound like Deshaun? <laughs> okay. You want to start over? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. We are DNA. My name is Alexis and this is Deshaun. And we are back with another video. I know it's been a long time. Like it's been a while. I don't even remember. But I know our last video was on uh, what we were having. Um our gender of our baby. He still have not came out yet. So um yes, he's still here. I'm 38 weeks and three days. Uh, but today we were going to uh, talk about and let you guys know that we are officially married. Mm -hmm. uh, we got married August 8th of 2020. And of course it wasn't a big wedding that we had planned. But it was a small wedding because, you know, of the COVID and everything going on. So mm -hmm. I guess I can kind of let you know like all about the situation. It really wasn't much, but you know. Yeah, kind of. it was. It was something. It was. It was more of a small, intimate wedding. Mm -hmm. Um, just, just more so, uh, family. Yes. Um, something we did in the park, and um, yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was pretty. It was. I. 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 I think I liked it. I. I liked it. It was very beautiful. We had a big gazebo. We had rented out and. And it was it was very intimate. I think more intimate, small intimate are more of the better ones because you can actually even though it was COVID, we could actually still kinda interact with our family members. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, so also I know you guys wanna know I understand what what it what it is, but how our, our emotions was. Um Oh my god. So I'm gonna start because I have like a little incident that happened the morning of us like going to get married so the night before we we have been staying together ever since i know some people they go different ways like a day before but we didn't have no bachelor or nothing like that because i was pregnant so none of that and we did not get married also just because i was pregnant i got, I got proposed to before yeah. Deshaun asked me to marry him literally mm -hmm. um so yeah but I don't know how it really went. Um, so the night before we 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 didn't go separate ways, but we slept, and we were not with each other. We used to on each other. We used to sleep with each other every night. We did not. Um, I went with my family. He went with his just that night mm -hmm. of, and then the morning. Um, yes, I don't know. I guess I'll let him tell you how. He felt in the morning. I'll tell you my incident situation. Well, um... Or the night to just say all the feelings. It was just... Yeah, it was, it was... It was... It was kind of... I was kind of excited. Like, I was... Kind of? Well, I was a lot of excited. Is that yeah. better? Yeah. <laughs> and, um... I say... Then the night... The night before... Uh... It was just, like, right in... Doing my like kind, kind of like my last little bit of finishing touches up on my vows and stuff. It just letting it kind of like sink in that you know I'm finna be married, you know, in a couple hours. So, you know, um, we still text each other. Um, we talk like Facetime for like um, I say about an hour. And. Mm -hmm. I don't know, did we FaceTime? Well, maybe we did, but to be honest, we actually were not... We actually had a situation the night before, um, and that's honestly. But I think it was because we both were so nervous. So we kind of were... We kind of had, like, a little disagreement, and we were kind of, like, not... We were just, like, oh, irritated with each other, honestly. Um, but I think that actually helped because... For me, it helped. I'm not sure for him. I don't know. I can't really speak for you. But it wasn't like anything big. It was just that I really think that we were both just nervous. I mean, we're both getting married. This is uh, 
the person they're supposed to spend our life with for the rest of our lives and it's just was just like oh my god it's really happening so I think really that's what did it um I don't know when I woke up that morning before I literally left the door I couldn't stop pooping and <laughs> TMI so if you don't like to poop, but uh, I couldn't stop pooping. Also, I was already, how many months was I? Six months, six or seven months pregnant. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what was, I wasn't nervous, but maybe my mind or something knew I was nervous. And I literally was just like, could not stop. Jesus. It was like, it was coming out like diarrhea, but it wasn't diarrhea, TMI, but y'all know. And so that was one weird thing. I don't know. Did you have anything that weird happen? Mm-mm. I was just my uh you know, um the morning the morning getting ready to um head out, just getting dressed and everything, just like putting on my clothes. That's when you know, I kinda like I kinda got a little overwhelmed, like I was like uh I was, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I I teared up a little bit just because like um you know, you you finna marry somebody you really love, and mm -hmm. somebody that you really like. You know, lay down your life for. And so, it's just just to be able to marry that person and to you know say your vows in front of all your loved ones. It's it's a blessing, but it's also an honor as well. So, I I feel like doing all that, getting dressed and seeing everybody else in the house getting dressed is it was, that's what mm -hmm. kind of had me like okay. This is it's time it's time for the big day, so Yeah. <laughs> and like you said it was a small wedding, so we didn't like this wasn't you know, I've seen people film their I see people have, have filmed the whole thing, they filmed like the bridesmaids, they filmed we didn't it was a small wedding, so this wasn't that but I it would have been cool if we did film this small one, but we do have a big one. The actual yeah. big one coming up next year. We don't have a specific date, but that one I would love to be filmed. Plus, we'll have our baby, yeah. you know, yeah. at the time. So that would be more. And, and you good. know, that's that's why that's why I like you know that's why I say God through all the bad things. God's still good because you still you still get to you know marry somebody you love and you still um, get to um, have you know you know a wedding where everybody can attend. Mm -hmm. But. Um, with with it being you know when it with it getting cold and COVID, it's just getting out of hand in certain states and and all this stuff. Um, we just decided that we was just gonna do something um, outside. Um, well, not not because it cold. We did it because it was warm. So we hurried. Not hurry, but we just that was our date already set. So we was like, let's mm -hmm. just go ahead and do it in the hot before we have to do it in the cold. We did not want to do it in the cold. Mm -hmm. mm. Um. So, um. I think. Did are we still going with the original date, or you decided? We don't so have much? a date really set yet for the because of COVID. Um. Of course, because it it could change. I have a baby now, so mm -hmm. I have to make sure that. Um. You know. Of course, I want the a a, a real wedding, but mm -hmm. at the same time, I want everyone to be safe too. At mm -hmm. the same time, so. Yeah, we'll still. You know, you know, talking about that. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I would have to say uh, about the small wedding and about us getting married. Um, I think I, I got really emotional when it came to him saying his vows. Um, he had wrote his vows a long time ago. Um, and me, I thought I was able to, I was going, I thought I was going to be able to just say it. But as it got closer to the days, I I just was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to just say it straight through. I'm going to have to, like, you know, have something down. Um, but how do you feel? I cried when he did his vows. It was yeah, really um, emotional. Yeah, I tried. I, um, I don't think uh, we may have a video. I don't think. I, I think, think we have a video. I think I'm we do. Sure. If we find it if not yeah. if we do we'll put it in here if we, if it's not in here then we probably don't have it don't yeah. you know yeah but we'll we'll probably we i know we have a few pictures a lot of we'll, pictures. we'll try to put a few we pictures a yeah we got a there's a lot of pictures mm -hmm. um and uh we'll, we'll put a few of those 
pictures and stuff in there where you guys can check that out as well. to try too hard because um yeah, you know i'm saying as far as when i when i was writing my vows because he i had already i had already written my vows um but i didn't really have to try that hard because you know when, when you have when you have a relationship that's built off love uh trust and and most importantly god i'm not saying that we don't fight because we 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 have our we have our days. Yeah, that's every marriage. But um, our relationship. It's it's it, what what makes the relationship and a marriage what it is just overcoming those those obstacles and situations and and just and just praying and continue to to support each other as long as you have those things like you know. And most importantly, God, as long as you have all that, uh, you you you'll have a, a a strong marriage. But that doesn't mean you're not gonna go through stuff. So yeah, because we're we're young, we're just starting. So of course, we don't know. You know, like our you know our parents who have been married for years, uh, we haven't got to that point yet. But we are willing to work stuff out. Um, of course, it gets frustrating because you're still even people that have been in a relationship for a long time you're still learning the person it didn't take us long so we're definitely still you know learning our ways and stuff like that but we know that it's worth it and we definitely know that we are meant for each other and we're each other's soulmates definitely uh we don't re regret that we know that for a fact that that is mm -hmm. that this is what god you know, have so of course we have to you know sometimes look at that because um, if God puts something together, you gotta be careful because mm -hmm. you God didn't do He don't do stuff wrong. Everything He does is right. So mm -hmm. um, definitely that. But as far as the wedding, it was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. I cried from His vows. He cried a little bit too. Um, Something funny that happened. Let's see. It was a lot of weird stuff happening. Yeah. It was funny. I guess. Uh, Lord, please forgive me. Uh, pastor, she was running a little late. Lord have mercy. But she was. She got there on time. But honey, she came up with her little mask on. Mm -hmm. I think that was a funny thing for me because I was just like, "What? Okay, the pastor got not a mask. What was it? Uh." Face shield. Face shield. It was just like, she ready. Mm. And then the next funny thing I think that made it was when his brother, you want to talk about that? What happened? Yeah, he dropped the ring. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped the ring. And... I think somebody has that picture. I don't know. I feel like somebody has videos of it. We have to get this. Yeah, we got we to gotta get these clips. Yeah. Like, we got to find them. Um. Yeah, he dropped the ring. But he dropped the ring, but... Um, how many pieces was it, though? Uh, it was three. Three. But the question is, how many How many you have on your finger now? Two, babe. What the hell did with anything? How many rings you have on your finger now? Two. Yeah, and the reason why she has two... Because um, I wanted to change it up. It, it is really a two-band ring, but mm -hmm. we it was an extra one ball. Why are you asking me like that, boy? Cause no, but yeah, you wanted to change it up, but tell them, tell them what happened. Why you had to take your ring off? I take my ring off all the time. Fingers were swollen. Like her mm -hmm. finger, she showed me. I was, I was doing something. She showed me. Okay, she was like, off her subject. finger was this big. I'm pregnant. That is normal. Her finger was about this big. Yeah. And I was like, man, it's it's so much, it's so much that 
that happened. But I think that was really funny. There was like three pieces just swerving around on the ground. That was funny. I was just like, I had cried, but then once I seen that, it was like the crying went all. I think no, he had he had he had one of them. He just dropped the uh, main ring and the other band. He had the uh, the other band. Yeah, I think that made it. We needed some humor out there. It was so getting so serious, and I understand marriage and a uh, and a. Being married, getting married, I won't say a wedding, getting married is very serious. But, you know, we needed something because my sister, my older sister was just bawling out, crying. It was, I was just like, can y'all know Kim? If you do not know, y'all need to check my channel. Y'all probably don't heard of her, but she, she does that. So it was just like a lot of crying. We needed something to kind of like laugh. And that was a great time and it was really funny. So, yes. What happened after that? Um, it was really beautiful. Had my parents there, his parents, uh, a few other friends. Um, we took pictures. Um, it was hot. I was sweating and I literally felt sweat down coming down my legs and body in my wedding dress so yeah but it was worth it so overall I it was just really good yeah uh, <laughs> it was fun pretty fun yeah uh, we had a good time we had a good time um like you know taking the pictures out because we took pictures mm -hmm. after and uh, I, I really enjoyed that because like you know um, you get to see, you get to see, like, the excitement, like, you get to see your family, your family, and, you know, friends, and they want, you know, you know, being, um, happy for you in, mm -hmm. in that moment, and, and it's just a blessing to see, yeah. you know, all the love and appreciation that, that everyone came out. Yeah, and we really thank, um, everyone for all the gifts and cards mm -hmm. that we received as well mm -hmm. um that was really a blessing even though it wasn't a big wedding people still took their time and, and wrote letters and sent gifts and money and that was just really a blessing we really thank you guys for that as well um i we still actually have our wedding registry um, still, uh, I'll put it in the description box below. Just if anyone uh, wanted to give anything, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> we still have it because our wedding, it, we we, you know, it did not the big one did not happen, so we're still having a, a big wedding. But um, and also for everyone that was a part of the original wedding, just thank you for being able to understand why we had to literally count so the big one and go to a small one because of safety i was pregnant it's cold yeah. out here why are you looking like that yeah because even 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 Weird. even through <laughs> even through like even with us having this in with this moment of happiness we we still realize that you know we have to take you know some level of precaution especially with with um some of our family members that would um be attending a big wedding you know some of them may have like underlying health issues and uh, i have underlying your um underlying so we just had to make sure that you know everyone that would attend that they would be able to be safe and still kind of enjoy themselves but it didn't turn out that way um but we're still going to do the same thing for the next one because there's mm -hmm. no guarantee date or anything. Mm -hmm. So there's no guarantee. Really, it all depends on what this virus does. So, mm -hmm. uh, of course, we have, like, money in it and stuff. But at the same time, you still want to, you don't want to risk anybody's life. Yeah. You know? And now we have a new baby coming. Yeah. So we definitely got to be like, okay, should we do this or that? Yeah, but we got to, but the good thing about it is we have a, we have um, the lady that um, we rented the place out from. She she's very understanding. Yeah, um, so we have so, understanding people. Yeah, and we we went. Um, you remember we went to um, we went to downtown, and we seen um, we seen a nice a nice um, outside venue that we was thinking about, but 
Yeah, until we still, we, we're still deciding who wants to do it inside or outside. Mm-hmm. Everything really just depends on the virus. Mm-hmm. The virus. It, it really does. So, we're just going to be praying for this virus to get out of this world because it is terrible. Mm-hmm. Um, make sure you guys are wearing your masks, gloves. I'm kind of iffy about that. But use sanitizer, sanitizer wipes, Lysol, Clorox bleach. Just use everything that you need to use and stay away from people i know voting is coming up so as well november 3rd if you haven't already i don't even know can you even just go out and vote if you are you Mm -hmm. know you have everything ready to vote please go vote Mm -hmm. um that's very important as well um that would be coming up as well yeah um i don't know do you have anything else Mm -hmm. and um a um another little announcement um praise the Lord. God is good. We we <laughs> finally finally have our own place. We finally have our own place. And uh we will do a little tour. Um Maybe. Yeah, but right now we kinda still we kinda still under construction. We 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 the house is a is a hot mess right now, but yeah. Uh, we doing bits and pieces day by day. So we we will hopefully hopefully sometime this week before um, yeah. little man get here. We can we can show y'all house tours, show y'all his room and all that good stuff. So yeah. So we have a, a it's a two bedroom apartment, mm-hmm. um, which is great for us, and then we have a bedroom for our son as well. So mm-hmm. that was great. Um, very blessing. Very. Um, yeah, being on our own it just has been uh, a blessing. I wouldn't change it for the world. It really is a blessing to be able to have our own place. Yeah. Now this time. Because it actually came, of course, last minute, but it, everything is on God's timing. Mm-hmm. So that's, you know, we're happy about that. We're blessed. We're here, and life is going pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I tell you the story about the um how we how we came about this this so uh, I'm just tell you how we you know we came about um this place um uh, we were we were looking around and so many months it's yeah it was it, it, it was a lot of months. And I'm gonna tell y'all how good God is. God is so good, you know. We we came here, and the lady said that she was looking. She had. She said she was calling me, but I didn't see none of her calls, none she of her voice She called us and left a message. Yes, called but messages, all this other stuff. I was just like, yes. she been did it. We don't even know when she really did it. It could have been the two or three months ago. Mm-hmm. But we never got and, it. And she still and she still let us, you know, kind to um get out, you know, she of course you know the things that, that when you get in a place that you have to go through, the things they have to do. But once once we did all that, God was so good and God came in time. Because God knew exactly what we needed, how we needed, how much we needed, and and He blessed us. And she said, "You know, you can get it today," mm-hmm. and and that was a blessing, and that was yeah. that was truly a blessing because I know, um, we're far from rich. We're far from rich, but the fact is, you know, God, God, God is good. God, all this is from God. He's kicking. Everything, everything that you see is from God. God blesses us because we, we, even when I don't feel like, you know, getting in the Bible, she makes sure that, you know, I get in the Bible. And sometimes when she don't feel like, it's just, we, we kind of, we, we encourage each other more so than anything. And, and these, these are. These is these are our blessings. Mm-hmm. Everything that we pray for individually and separately. And it's just it's just it's just a blessing to look around and see how far you came. Yeah. So like what he was talking about with the apartment, like the timing, 
that is really a blessing. Well, I I feel like what it is 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 just confirming it's on God's timing. The woman had called us and left a message about the home being available. And no telling how many months that was. It might have been two months back. So now we're coming in two months later and the home is there for us waiting. The home may have been there waiting for us the whole time. Anybody could have got it. So that was just God's time. And he was just like, no, two or three months ago, it was not right time. Mm -hmm. it, now it's the right time. You see, so that is amazing mm -hmm. how that it worked out. Mm -hmm. You know, because we had we had our yeah. eye on two other places and. Yeah. And and we just was like, well, we keep striking out, we keep striking out and and let it was like maybe maybe God has something better for us and mm -hmm. I said, and I wait, like, yeah, just you're wait right. on him. You'll know. Yeah, you're right. And lo and behold, he put us right where we needed to be. Mm -hmm. So but yeah, you know that's, that just goes to show you God is good. Mm -hmm. And as long as you continue to put him first, and, put him first and do what you're supposed to, you will continue to get blessings. Mm -hmm. It's not all about blessings, but you know, when when you do get those blessings, they're they're you know you're gonna be God. overflowed with yeah. blessings. So yeah. Yeah. But that's just something that I just wanted to, to share with y'all more so not to take away from the place, but more so shed light on what what God has done for us, so. Mm -hmm. So now we've been married for, it will be going on three months, November eighth. Mm -hmm. Um. So, how has it been? And I guess people wonder like, how does it feel being newlywed? Well, it feel different because we have, we had, uh, we have a child at the same time. So it's kind of like. It's not like bittersweet because I they're all blessings. Yeah. It's just like we just have another blessing that we have to kind of deal mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. at the same time. So um, it's been good. We're learning each other, of course. Yeah. Men are different and women are different and stuff that I don't like and he don't like. And we, that that's normal mm -hmm. but of course you're going to have that of course i hear that a lot from my parents and his parents so it's just you just got to get a routine get used to it mm -hmm. you know it's just life yeah and, and yeah like but like i said um you know it's things that it's things that i do that get under her skin it's things mm -hmm. that she do that gets under my skin but um you know, we 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 are. We, I can truly say we're getting better at um, communication. Um, we're getting better at a lot of things from when we were what started dating. Like um, it's a it's a lot of growth. Um, well, you're still us. gonna grow. Like yes. you can understand. Like even people that have been married for sixty years, yes. they still are having. Some people still going to counseling. Some people mm -hmm. are still they have little problems. It's just life, and put God first, and it's gonna be okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, but the more you love, the more you love someone, you have to. Yeah. The love. more growth it will be there. That you're you're never to. gonna stop growing. Yeah. You're yeah. never gonna stop growing. So, but that's that's what I I knew that. Just because, um, you know, I I talked to uh, my grandpa and I talked to my parents about about um, like what made them want to get married. What, what how do they stay? How do they stay together? And you know, when you when you surround yourself around um, people like that, you know, it don't even have to necessarily be parents. It could be anyone that's been married a long time. You surround yourself around that person, you can you can learn a lot. You can learn a lot, and that's 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 what that's what marriage is about. Yeah. Learning from each other, and you know, pretty much when you have a child that's about to be here in a few days, you have to set an example for that child. Whether it's Quit. a girl or boy, it doesn't matter. You have mm -hmm. to you have to be. An example at all times because it's true. Your kids, your kids do watch every move because I did the same thing 
with my mom. Mm-hmm. And I know there's not a doubt that our child's going to do the same with us. So. Yeah, and I really thank God for blessing us, each other, with one another. Mm-hmm. Um, because there are not a lot of people who think like we do um, at all. There are not a lot of couples who are living together, having kids and stuff like that. Once again, we did not come together because of a kid. <laughs> the show asked me to marry him before we had mm-hmm. um, our baby or I was... Um, you know, I got pregnant. So I don't want anybody to think that because that's not it. Um, really, you just, it's really love. And we really knew that God put us together. Um, especially with how we think. Um, maturity level. It's hard to find a guy like Deshaun. Um, and he can maybe say the same for me. It's, it really is. These days, it's hard. Uh, and I did not want to go through no hardness of doing that. So I really thank God for being able to bless me, you know, to, I wouldn't say have it easy, but to really just be here, mm-hmm. um, have someone like him supportive and caring. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's a lot easier when you have that. I know I've learned from my parents and I've learned from my aunts and uncles. I can just see, and they'll tell you all the time, it's, it's a lot easier and you can see it. It's easier when you have that type of support mm-hmm. with you, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I mean, like like she said, it, we, anytime, anytime you have a situation between um, whether it's your your family members or just just people that you know that doesn't really know you so other than that you guys that's really what's been going on Mm -hmm. i am of course again 38 weeks three days waiting on a baby i am set to be induced next thursday or friday depending on my doctor's appointment wednesday so that would be november 5th or 6th um today is halloween today is halloween Mm -hmm. today is halloween and Okay, that's a whole nother story. But, um, yes, yeah, so I'm looking really looking forward to that. But other than that, you guys, that's been going on with our lives. We started, we haven't been able to put up videos constantly. Mm-hmm. Well, also, before we leave, I think Deshaun, he should, like, tell about the people that he met that actually notice our channel. He met a couple people. Every time he meets them... He tells me I never get a chance to see him for some odd reason. So you know, because somehow they just love you. I never get to see you people. So um yeah, like I was um I forgot where I was. The first one. I forgot. I don't know where he was. I think he was at a grocery store both times. I feel like it was at a grocery store. Mm mm. It wasn't. Mm mm. Well, I know one I... was a man and the other one was a little girl. Yeah. But, but yeah, so, my mind, y'all, my mind. So, okay, so, the first time I was, I think, I think I was in a grocery store, like you said, the first time, but Mm -hmm. I don't know where I was the second time, but first time, um, it was like, it wasn't an old man, but he wasn't young either, but. If you're watching, he uh, is not trying to be rude. Yeah, so like I was just like I was just like um like I was just getting like I need some something to cook basically, and I had um I had came up like across the aisle and then I'm thinking like he kept looking at me, and kept looking at me and so I'm just thinking like he may know me or something like or because he looked like he was like around my age, but. He kept looking, and I'm just thinking, like, maybe he know me from school. Maybe he, you know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe he, he think I'm somebody, but I'm actually not that person. So once he come approach me and find out I'm not that person, then he's okay, it's whatever. But as soon as soon as, like, he walked up to me, like, he's like, oh, he's like, yeah. He's like, you that dude from YouTube. I was like. Hmm? What? I was like, what? I'm just like, me. I don't, I don't do no YouTube. <laughs> what are you talking about YouTube? 
And he was like, Cause we're so small. and I was like, I was no. like, I was like, huh? I was like, I was like, you have somebody. I was like, you got somebody <laughs> else. Right? And he was like, no, 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 no. He was like, that's funny. He was like, he was like, what's your um, what's your old lady name? I was like. Oh, lady. Okay. I said, oh, once once I told him it was her, uh, Alexi's name, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, yeah. He was like, um, I was just, uh, scrolling. And he was like, I went, I went to the, uh, little, um, he's like, I typed in, um, somebody else's name. I ain't mean to type in y'all's. And then I seen y'all little video on how we first met. And then I seen y'all. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, so... You know, like as soon as I, as soon as I checked out, I immediately came to the car. And you remember I told you, like I got super yeah, hype. Like, I got super what? hype. Cause we don't have many subscribers, you guys. No. And if you are watching, please like and subscribe. Yeah. I want to know you guys. I hate that we we didn't get a name. I but they say they watch our videos. So. Yeah, I was um, like. But at the same time, it was like... It's like, weird. what are you talking about? Yeah, you don't expect it to be you because no. we're not... Mm -mm. We don't, like... I don't know. We don't have a following. We're not you, looking for a following. We don't do YouTube to be mm -hmm. famous. Yeah, we don't, like... That's the thing about us. We don't really... We don't... We, we don't, just love sharing. Yeah, we just talking. like... We just like, you know, sharing, you know, what, what we've been through. And, it's you know, blessing. just letting other people know that, you know... You're not alone. We going mm -hmm. through the same thing, if not something similar. So, yeah, yeah. I, How was the little girl? Yeah, but I, <laughs> I, I, I forgot the story about her. I, you said she came up to you and something. Now, that but is I don't so know where cute. I was. I keep forgetting. I don't even know where I was. I don't know. I feel like it was a grocery store again, yeah, but I don't know. But she just came. You don't know what she said. Yeah. She was, she had, okay, so I was somewhere. I don't know what I was. I think she asked about me or something. Yeah. The, yeah, because, okay, so I I was in a, um, I forgot. We don't know I guess story. you could say store, but I don't even know. If you're watching my girl. But I was somewhere, I was somewhere, <laughs> and um, I was, I was like doing something. I don't know what I was doing, but. The little girl had came up to me and she was like, "Oh, she was like, um, I I um know you. She was like, you <laughs> that you was weird. with that you was with that girl on YouTube. She was like, I seen you and I was like, oh okay, and okay and then like oh mama, <laughs> oh mom sitting here looking at me. I'm like, listen, <laughs> yeah. What do you do? On YouTube? Like exactly. <laughs> like what do you do on YouTube and. You know it, it. You know I. It, when when I had seen her, it just it goes it just goes to show you that the the work that we you know at least you know somebody's watching. Yeah, somebody's watching, and okay. we 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 love to see we love to see you know people. We really didn't think that would even happen yeah. in here. We only have what thirty three. But did we we don't we, even have that much. We got just like what well, like what I mean like. 17? Seventeen know. subscribers, like it's not even a whole. It's like Jesus. not even a whole lot, but it just goes to show you, like God. Sometimes when you want to give up, God show you. Okay, don't give up because you this is what I have. This is who I have. That's looking at your video. Mm -hmm. That that just put that extra drive in us to to continue to give y'all better and more videos. So yeah. And that's, being real. Yeah, being that's just what real. we that just and and you know. yeah, we I just wanted to share that with y'all just just so if y'all are looking in and y'all remember y'all coming up and having that <laughs> conversation. Yeah, we we wanted to show we just wanted to show love and just let y'all know that. Mm -hmm. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, for watching, mm -hmm. subscribing. Um share our videos with your family, anyone who's watching. People our age who's going through the same thing. I mean, honestly, this COVID has been a lot stressful for the whole world. So I know there's everybody has something they're going through. But um, that is all that we have today for an update on us. Yes, I am now married. We're now married. And we also have a little baby on the way. Baby boy on the way. So exciting. Um... We 
we of course we want to do more videos um you know because we have a, a literally a new whole situation coming on now so of course um you can if you would like to put in the comments the videos you would like to see us do mm -hmm. if you like to see us do vlogs morning routines um anything like that we would love to hear about it um also put your stories of how you guys met um if anyone has gotten married your stories if you had a wedding through covid all mm -hmm. your stories i would love to hear um here we are here to listen here um and everything else so you guys you have anything else to say yeah and um and if you if and if you have any things that you like to suggest for us as far as us being first time parents yes oh that God. you did that you know kind of made it easier on you and you know, just you know put that below we'll we'll definitely look at that and we'll we'll try to incorporate that into our schedule mm -hmm. to try to you know take you up on your yeah. suggestions but yeah, we're willing to do we're 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 not um We'll take any advice, of mm -hmm. course. It don't mean we're going to use everybody's advice, but of course we're willing to listen as well. Um, but also, you guys, look out for another video us doing about pregnancy and that. That's a whole thing. That's a whole different section. Um, how it's been for my husband with me being pregnant and both of us through the COVID. Because, you know, of course, he has not been able to go to any doctor appointments so of course look out for that video you guys um thank you guys for watching mm -hmm. make sure you subscribe like and comment down below and we will see you guys later bye